Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be talking all about skincare. I want to share my current skincare routine with you guys. I want to talk a little bit about how I really take care of my skin, both from the inside and also from the outside. Just a little background on my skin. I have quite problematic, acne prone, sensitive skin. My skin is something that I've had to take care of since I was very, very young. I would say like 16, 15, 16 is when I really started to take care of my skin because I got a lot of acne and under the skin bumps that I felt super, super self-conscious about. I was unfortunately not blessed with the great skin gene. My skin is super, super reactive to the products that I use, to the food that I eat, my lifestyle, my stress levels. And it's something that for me is like a baby. Like I literally baby my skin and I have to take care of it. So skincare is definitely a priority for me as are you know other things that I want to talk to you guys about that go kind of beyond skincare but that are really beneficial um, for the health of my skin. So I want to talk a little bit about those things as well. About two years ago I went through the worst breakouts that I've ever had. I had acne all over my face, on my cheeks, on my forehead, down my neck. It was a pretty difficult time for me to deal with that and I I felt so self-conscious. It hurt, like it was painful. I get kind of emotional like when I talk about it because um, it was something that I really suffered with and I know that there are other people who are going through that and I want to be a source of guidance or help or inspiration. It will get better. It's just temporary. But I have managed to clear up my skin since then and I have made a couple of videos um, since that whole experience where I share um, like updates. But it's been a while. It's been about um, a year and a half now since I've talked to you guys properly about my routine. But from all those breakouts that I had, it did leave me with quite a lot of um, discoloration, some uh, pigmentation issues and scarring that I'm still working on, you know, smoothening out. My skin today is not perfect and I still get um, breakouts from time to time, but it's so much better. Before I get into the products that I use and my routine and some of the external um, treatments that I do for my skin, I want to talk a little bit about the internal things that I do to keep my skin healthy from the inside out. When I think about skincare, it's not just the products that I'm using on the outside. I really think of it as a holistic, like whole concept. Using amazing skincare products is great and it's definitely going to help you, but I also think that feeding yourself and really nourishing your skin from the inside out is just as beneficial. This is just speaking from my personal experience. Um, it could be the same for you, it might be different, but for me there are certain foods that really really affect my skin and I see it right away. One of those foods is dairy and animal products in general. I've talked about this loads before here on my channel but for those of you who might be new, um, dairy is something that causes a lot of problems with not just my skin but with a lot of the population. All dairy of course comes from cow's milk which is intended for baby cows. It has lots of hormones great hormones for a baby cow but when we consume these hormones they can sometimes interfere with our own bodily functions our own chemistry our own hormones and then that can show up in our skin it can of course also have an effect on your weight so if you're curious about that definitely do some research on dairy and its link to acne the second food that has a big effect on my skin are processed foods or processed foods especially that are high in fat a processed food is basically uh, something that you used to be natural but it's been transformed, changed, altered, chemically manipulated and in the end you get this product. My diet is definitely not 100% perfect but I try to aim for lots of whole fresh natural foods as often as I can and I really see the difference in my skin when I've been eating really well which then leads me on to the foods that are really helpful for my skin and that promote really healthy glowing clear skin. One of the major things I do for my skin apart from sticking to a really great skincare regime is eating vegetables lots of greens lots of vitamin nutrient rich foods that you guys is so so powerful I can't stress it enough it's literally like eating skincare and just watching it blossom 
on your face. That's how powerful greens are, especially green juices. Greens and vegetables in general are super alkalizing for your body, so they bring down the acidity level in your body, bringing you to a more neutral pH. A healthy diet with lots of greens will also help to bring down the inflammation in your body, which again is super, super important for preventing breakouts on your skin. There's just endless, endless benefits of a healthy diet. It doesn't mean you have to be healthy 100% of the time, but definitely trying to incorporate more greens, more salads, more vegetables, more whole foods will be so, so beneficial for your skin. And something else that I really like are lemons. Lemons are super acidic to the taste in the beginning, but once they've been digested and metabolized, they are extremely alkaline. And again, that is going to help with the pH level in your body. Lemons are of course also very rich in vitamin C, which is essential for your body to produce collagen. Collagen is what keeps our skin looking super young, firm, tight, lifted. So if you just think about food from a skincare point, it can be so, so beneficial. But of course, it's also great for your entire body as a whole. Your skin definitely benefits, but so does your hair, your nails, your figure, and of course, lots and lots of water. I'm sure you guys know this already. I make it a priority in my day to make sure that I've had enough water. I have water everywhere in my apartment, in my car. I just always try to stay hydrated, especially first thing in the morning. Morning. When you keep yourself hydrated, it's also great for your metabolism. It helps to flush out toxins from your body, which is again great for your skin and it helps to keep all your cells nice and plumped in your skin. So it gives you that nice glow and that very youthful look. And then my last kind of lifestyle diet tip would be exercise, moving your body, getting blood pumping, getting your lymphatic system going and really getting that oxygen and those nutrients to your skin cells. I'm sure you guys have experienced the post-workout glow where your skin just looks a little bit flushed, a little bit glowy and healthy, and that is because all of your skin cells in your face have gotten a huge boost of oxygen and nutrients delivered to the cells. Exercise can also help make you feel really good. It's a great stress reliever. It helps to release those Feel good endorphins and stress is something that can be super damaging and aging for our bodies so trying to keep that low and keep your happiness levels up is definitely important for healthy skin as well. So now I want to move on to my current skincare routine. I want to show you guys the products that I'm using and talk a little bit about um, the treatments that I'm doing externally for my skin. The products that I'm using are amazing, but more so than that, getting into a good routine and being consistent with that is super, super important. So whether you're going to use these products that I'm going to show you or you have products at home, it's really about having a consistent routine day in, day out, really take care of your skin every morning, every evening. I always make sure to first remove any makeup that I have on my face. For me, it's just not very effective to rub my cleanser into my makeup and then have like my makeup rubbing all over and then think my skin is clean because I know that it's not. So I prefer to first take off my makeup then I will do my cleanser. So these are the two products that I use for removing my makeup. I first like to go in with this micellar water. This is from Dior. It is a little bit of like a splurge, kind of more expensive item. I personally love this and I buy it myself. It's not a PR or anything. I absolutely love it. It's very gentle on the skin. It's not like overly perfumey. It doesn't irritate my skin and I think it does a really good job of removing that like first layer of makeup. I also like that it has this little um, squeezy pump thing. You press down here with a cotton pad and then the product comes up. I just think it's fun to use and I like the way that it looks and it works really well as well. So um, I will need to go buy another one of these very soon. Then to remove my eye makeup, I use the Earth Science Green Tea Chamomile Eye Makeup Remover. This is in a gel consistency and what I do is wet to my whole face. I'll take a little bit onto my fingertips. I will keep my eyes closed and then just gently wash away all of the mascara and and also I'll get some of the concealer underneath my eyes. It's so gentle, it never stings my eyes. I have been buying this for over 10 years. You can find this at Whole Foods, but also on Amazon, that is where I buy it now. I just really love it, I can't recommend it enough. It's been in literally every single um, skincare routine video that I've done since 
I've started my channel. So by this point, the majority of my makeup is now off my skin. And now I will go in with either an exfoliator or a cleanser with my Clarisonic. The two exfoliators that I'm really loving at the moment are these ones right here. This first one is from Caudalie. It is just called the Deep Cleansing Exfoliator. It's got tiny, tiny little micro particles that will exfoliate your skin. So it's not gonna scratch the surface of your skin. It's just gonna gently buff away any dead skin cells. And I've also been loving this one from Omarvixa. This is the Refining Facial Polisher. I have already mentioned this in a few of my recent videos, so I'm not gonna go too much into it but it's a beautiful exfoliator. It has some incredible ingredients in here, which also allows it to act as a peel and a mask in one. So you get this beautiful three-in-one treatment. These have been my two current favorites. And whether you use these or another exfoliator that you already own, it's super important to exfoliate your skin a few times per week. You wanna get rid of that top layer of dead skin cells that can build up over time, especially if you have an oily or problematic skin type you want to make sure that you are constantly removing and refreshing the surface of your skin it helps to bring forward that new skin which is more soft more supple and definitely more glowing so in the days that I'm not using those two exfoliators I like to use a regular cleanser these are some of my um, current favorites and I will use these cleansers with my Clarisonic I think the statistic is something like you get a six time deeper clean with the Clarisonic than with your fingertips alone. And I can definitely agree with that. Using a facial brush like this feels super, super invigorating. And I've had this for years. This is something that I absolutely swear by. I think it's such a good investment. You can keep this for so long and you just have to get the replacement heads um, every few months or so. But seriously, amazing. I change up my cleanser quite often. It's something that I do like to experiment with and try different ones out. But these are some of the ones that I'm currently using. I love these two from Kate Somerville. These are the Eradicate Daily Cleanser. The pink one is an acne treatment one with sulfur inside. It's incredible for acne prone oily skin. Would highly, highly recommend this cleanser. Another one that I love to travel with is this one right here. It is the Exfoliate Cleanser daily foaming wash. Works amazing, feels really great on my skin. It doesn't over dry or over strip the oils on my skin. Another one that I've been experimenting with lately is this one from Sicily. It is the lightning foaming cleanser and it has a good amount of, I think it's vitamin C in here. It does contain an ingredient that is super brightening for the skin. That little regime of first taking off your makeup, then cleansing is also known as double cleansing. I do sometimes like to double cleanse with a cleansing balm. I have a few different ones that I like to use, but I just wanted to show you this one as an example. This one is from Emma Hardy. It is a solid balm. It looks like this, and this feels so amazing on the skin. It's super nourishing, but it's also great for or removing makeup. This is something that you have to wash off with a warm uh, face cloth. It's not gonna come off with just water, so do keep that in mind. But it's got some amazing ingredients in here. It smells so heavenly and so relaxing. Okay, so moving on to the essence and the toner that I like to use. The toner that I've been loving for the past few years has been from Caudalie. It is the Moisturizing Toning Lotion. I'll do a couple of pumps on a cotton round and then I will just gently wipe my entire face. A toner is super important for helping to bring back the correct pH balance on your skin, which is super important for preserving the acid mantle that you have on your skin. And when your skin is at its good pH balance, it just helps it to protect itself better from environmental stressors and things like that. It is more of a hydrating toner, as the name suggests, which I personally love. I like that it just instantly restores some of the moisture to my skin and it doesn't leave it feeling tight or anything. From the same brand, I love this Vino Perfect Concentrated Brightening Essence. I like to pour a few drops of this into the palm of my hand. I will rub my hands together and then I will just gently press it into my skin. This has a blend of glycolic acid to help the turnover of your cells to give you a very glowing complexion. And it also has their organic grape water inside, which is super, super beneficial for the skin. It makes such a difference. To me, this feels like a quick drink of water 
for your skin and it soaks right in. It feels really good. Caudalie is more of a natural brand, so there are not any crazy fragrances or chemicals or toxins in here. It's very, very lightweight. And when I first got this, I was a little bit skeptical. I had read really good reviews, but I thought like, does a water really make that much of a difference, but it does. And because of that glycolic acid and the organic grape water, it just does something to really plump up your cells and make you look very bright. I forgot to mention another toner that I really like that I would apply before I do my essence. This is from Biologique Recherche. It's a French brand. It's called the Lotion P50 PIGM 400. This is kind of like the gold standard of acid-based toners. This contains a blend of lactic acid, malic acid, citric acid, and salicylic acid. It's also got some other great ingredients in here that really help to promote cell turnover, to exfoliate the skin, to brighten the skin. It is quite strong though, so I don't use this every single day, but it is effective and it does really, really work. So I would highly recommend um, looking into this, doing some research. There's lots of great information about this online. So next, I wanna move on to some of my favorite serums and facial oils. I have a few that I like and I'm kind of rotating between at the moment. One that's been pretty consistent over the last year or so has been the Caudalie Vino Perfect Complexion Correcting Radiance Serum. This is my second bottle of this. This is a really nice, very, very lightweight serum. It comes in a little um, pipette kind of dropper like this. This has a really high concentration of an ingredient called viniferin. I think that's how you pronounce it. And it's been proven to be 62 times more effective than vitamin C. And as I'm sure a lot of you guys know, vitamin C, both internally and topically, is a great ingredient for the skin. I use this quite often in my evening routine, but definitely in the morning. This is like my morning staple uh, serum at the moment. And I like it especially during the day because it is oil-free, so it's very, very lightweight. It does have a nice radiance to it, but it's nothing greasy, oily, or heavy. It's super lightweight, sinks right into the skin. And then in the evening, I love to use a good facial oil along with my moisturizer. I love to kind of charge up my skin with lots of moisturizing ingredients when I'm sleeping so that when I wake up, it looks really nice and plump and refreshed. And I don't mind looking like a little bit shiny in the evening if I'm just gonna go to bed. So I have two that I really love. This first one is from Sunday Riley. It is the Luna Sleeping Night Oil. This one I have mentioned low on my channel before it's one of my favorite facial oils and I would say one of my favorites like skincare products in general it has a retinol complex in it and retinol is amazing for helping to reduce fine lines in the skin but also if you're acne prone and you have like blemishes on your skin retinols can be quite strong and quite stripping on the skin so that's why a lot of people kind of shy away from them but because this retinol is suspended in an oil consistency as opposed to a regular cream or serum. It gives you those benefits of the retinol, but it also provides a really nourishing base for the retinols to work so it doesn't dry out your skin. How I like to use an oil is I like to apply a few drops into my moisturizer that I'm gonna use that night. I will mix it all together and then I will apply it all over my face. And then the second one that I've been loving so, so much is from Vintner's Daughter. It is the Active Botanical Serum. This is so incredible, it's so powerful, and I literally saw a difference in my skin the first time that I used it. It has a mix of 22 of the most active organic botanicals in the world some of which include evening primrose oil rosehip seed oil carrot seed oil avocado oil rosemary sea buckthorn jasmine plus on top of all of that it smells so so good it's incredible for your skin of course but it's also very rejuvenating for your senses and when I put this onto my skin I like to just put my hands like over my nose and just breathe in the smell and it's all natural all organic I think facial oils if they're done properly can be super super beneficial they can also be antibacterial for your skin it's really great for fine lines and wrinkles and just helping to keep the elasticity and the strength in your skin plus you wake up with super luminous dewy healthy looking skin which I love and it's also very healing if you have a cut 
or a breakout or something, you put a little bit of this on and it really helps. Everything is sourced organically and made with a lot of attention to detail. So it's a really, really high quality product that I know a lot of people love as well. So the last step in my routine is a moisturizer. I want to seal in all of that goodness that I've applied to my skin, plus some added benefits of good nutrients. A moisturizer that I love to use at night is from Omor Vixa. It's the same brand as the Refining Facial Polisher. This is called the Rejuvenating Night Cream and it looks like this. I'm about halfway through mine right now. First of all, it smells incredible. It has kind of like a baby scent to it. Again, it's got some incredible ingredients for your skin and that's really what I look for when I'm buying skincare products. I want to use products that are more on the natural side but that are still super effective and that contain a lot of natural active botanicals. This for instance has apple pectin to hydrate and retain moisture, plum almond oil to protect against free radicals. It's got pro-vitamin A to boost collagen, hazelnut peptide to firm. It's a nice, very rich, luxurious cream and it feels amazing, amazing on the skin. For the daytime, I like to use a mix of either the Alpha H Essential Hydration Cream. It looks like this. And recently, I've really been loving the Elemis Pro Collagen Marine Cream. Both of these are incredible products. Again, the ingredients are amazing and that's what's really, really important for me. They're both nice and lightweight, but they really deliver a good amount of moisture to the skin. I'll make sure to leave all of the names of all of these products as well as links down below. So if you want to do a little bit more research into the products and the ingredients, um, you can find all of the information down below. I love a good mask a couple of times per week and I do have two of my favorites right here. This first one is from Peter Thomas Roth. It is the Therapeutic Sulfur Mask. It has 10% maximum strength sulfur. It's also got purifying kaolin and bentonite clays, which is amazing for acne prone oily skin. This is another product that has been featured in pretty much every single one of my skincare routine videos for the past few years. I swear by this mask for keeping my pores extra extra clean and the sulfur in here is just amazing for breakout prone skin. For pimples, you can also use this as a spot treatment if you want and it's one of those masks that you can just see the difference immediately in your skin. And I've purchased many, many of these over the years, and this is actually a brand new one. Then the second mask that I love is from Glam Glow. This is the Super Mud Clearing Treatment. I also mentioned this in my recent October favorite. It is almost finished. I've really enjoyed using this mask over the last few months, and it's again like the Peter Thomas Roth uh, Sulfur Mask. It's super, super deep cleaning. Like you can really feel this going into your pore. And again, I think it works best for a combination to oily, acne prone, breakout prone skin. Something else that I've recently been incorporating into my skincare routine is microneedling. And I like to use this little guy right here. So what this is, is basically a little facial roller with tiny, tiny little needles on it. So it rolls just like this and it feels a little bit um, tingly, like a little bit prickly on the skin, of course, because it is needles, but it's nothing like overbearingly painful or anything. So what this does is basically create tiny, tiny little punctures in your skin, which then sends a signal to your body to repair this area. So it will send lots of white blood cells to the area to repair the skin, and it's also gonna help to build new collagen. Derma rolling can be super beneficial for scars in particular, and also in some hyperpigmentation pigmentation areas but I use it mostly for scarring and also as kind of like a preventative aging treatment but it's great for boosting the circulation in your skin and to again promote that collagen production. I will do this about once a week. There are videos on YouTube and like things that you can read online on how to do this properly. Lastly I just want to talk a little bit about the facials that I like to get done. The facials for me are not like the most relaxing enjoying thing in the world because I like to do microneedling. So basically, it's a very intense version of this derma roller, but instead of using a roller like this, it looks like a little pen, and on the top of the pen, you have these needles that kind of rotate and go into your skin. I did show that process in a recent vlog. I'll make sure to link it down below in case you missed it, but there you can kind of see a bit of the facial. So basically, with microneedling, it's a super, super intensive 
facial treatment whereby these tiny little holes will make these punctures in your skin and again it will trigger your body to heal that area and to boost the collagen production the elasticity and the firmness of your skin when you do it with a professional dermatologist or esthetician the needles are much bigger than you know something like this that you can just do on your own so definitely is that much more powerful and you can see an incredible difference in your skin within the first like one to two times of doing it right after the treatment your skin can be quite red and sore but then like two to three days after your skin just glows it looks so so beautiful and it's something that i'm obsessed with going to get done and then along with the microneedling she also does like a normal facial so she'll do extractions um she'll do a mask and exfoliation my facialist will also sometimes do a little bit of a hydrofacial to prep the skin for the microneedling. Highly, highly recommend uh, microneedling if you need it. If you already have perfect skin and you don't have a lot of scarring or discoloration, then you don't need it. But for those of you who do suffer with scars, breakouts, um, uneven skin tone, it could be something definitely worth looking into. I forgot to mention in the beginning of the video when I was telling you guys about food and nutrition, I take a supplement that I find really, really helpful for my skin and that is zinc. There's lots of different types of zinc on the market. This is the one I've been taking recently. This one also contains vitamin A, vitamin E, selenium, and of course the zinc. This is another thing that I've sworn by over the last few years to really help my skin recover and heal and just look nice and clear so i think i'm gonna wrap it up here thank you so much for watching i really really hope that you found this helpful informative i could probably sit here all day and talk about skin and skincare and treatments and stuff but i want to keep this quite concise and maybe i'll do another video soon with some more tips thank you so much for watching as i mentioned i will have all of the links to all the items that i mentioned down below in the description box i hope you're all having an amazing day and i will see you guys very soon mm -hmm.